Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Fuck yeah. Feels good in here. Yeah, there's some real Tony Hinchcliffe fans out there. Look at that. It's good to be back hosting here the number one live podcast in the world. How's the audience doing tonight? Listen to that electricity. Are you going to walk in? has got them all warmed up. Mm. Fuck yeah. Brian Redband's here, ladies What's and gentlemen. Up, guys? Come on, let's do hey. this. Yeah. Welcome back, Tony. Thank you. Got it. That was fucking weird last week. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. High stress situation. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, but the hot chip shit at the end, I love. Oh, yeah. Guess what? I got some uh, stuff coming towards us. Uh, we might have to Ooh. bring that back. Ooh la la. You know what else is coming towards us is uh, my new favorite thing in the world, which is Kill Tony the Book, oh my God. drawn by house artist Ryan J. Belt, who's right. sitting here right now drawing tonight's episode that will one day be part of probably another book. I just signed a bunch of them before the show, and those are being shipped out. You could buy your Kill Tony the Book at ryanjbelt.com. Uh, we're about to go on the road, Tony. We're yeah, bringing we are. Uh, Tony, we're, uh, Kill Tony to Dallas and Houston. February 1st, Kill Tony in Houston, Texas. Uh, February 2nd in Dallas, we do stand-up shows. Me, you, Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, Pat Reagan. The whole band. A, those are, that's Kill Tony, the stand-up show. That's two shows on that Friday night. And on Saturday night, we do Kill Tony in Dallas, February 3rd. Obviously with the entire band mm -hmm. and everything for the first time with that. We've done Dallas twice each, Houston twice. And um, this will be our first time having the whole band. And then we do two more stand-up shows after that with all of us. Yes. So that's three shows in one night in Dallas. I'm also going to be in Boise, Idaho, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Sacramento, California. And big announcements according to uh, Kill Tony News uh, for Salt Lake City and Phoenix coming up soon. Ooh. Just a little something to think about. Nice. And uh, a fresh new year has begun. And if you're setting new goals for your business, it's extremely difficult to reach them without the right people on your team. And ZipRecruiter has transformed how you go about finding them. ZipRecruiter posts your job to over 100 of the web's <laughs> leading job boards with just one click. Then, ZipRecruiter actively looks for the most qualified candidates and invites them to apply. That's why ZipRecruiter is different. Unlike other hiring sites, ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on the right candidates finding you. It finds them. No wonder 80% of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Hell yeah, so natural. Find out today why <laughs> ZipRecruiter has been used by businesses of all sizes and industries to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And right now, our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. Hell Yeah. That's if you're looking to hire new people. Yeah. If you don't have a business, are you ready to start your new business? <laughs> make it stand out. Get started with Squarespace. <laughs> Think it. Dream it. Make it with Squarespace. With analytics that help you grow in real time. Built-in search engine optimization, free and secure hosting. Nothing to upgrade ever and 24-7 award-winning customer support. I actually have been using Squarespace for like four or five years. I built Death Squad on uh, Squarespace. ShopSquad.tv, the whole store is Squarespace. I think I made it in an hour, and I've been using it ever since. You can create a beautiful website. You can turn your cool ideas into a new website. You could showcase your work. Blogger? Yeah. Publish some content, why don't you? Sell products and services of all kinds. Promote your physical or online business, Tony. Yes. You can head, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial when you're ready to launch. Use the offer code KILL to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com. Enter the code KILL and get a great deal, 10% off. Who doesn't like making fucking websites, right, people? Come on. It's actually an awesome. Everybody Squarespace that listens awesome. to this show is extremely creative. Yeah. Always so fun and interesting. Comedians, you guys too. In fact, I built my website off Squarespace as well, TonyHinchcliffe.com. Yeah. And all the crazy shit that I do is all hosted off the crazy ass Squarespace.com. Mm, crazy ass. <laughs> That's their new logo. <laughs> crazy ass Squarespace. Mm. Let's jump right into this puppy. I'm excited to bring out uh, tonight's guests. Um, two of my favorites. They've been on the show a bunch of times. We're going to have so much fun tonight. 
I always give you two of the funniest comedians in the world. This one's no different. Two of my favorites. Let's make some noise for the great Luis J. Gomez and Dom Irera. Come on, people. Holy shit. Seinfeld, Big Lebowski, Legion of Skanks, Gas Digital Network. Look at this powerful union. There it is. Luis J. Gomez and the great Dom Irera here for 2018. We've had a couple crazy shows to kick off the year. I figure let's follow momentum with fucking heavy KO hitters. Let's do this shit. Right on, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> How's yeah, it going? Dude, I'm fucking pumped to be here. Love Los Angeles. Love the, uh, the, the amazing weather, the amazing Ooh, people. Yeah. Mexican people, you guys are cool too. It's so uh, nice here. It's so incredible. lovely, the yeah. weather. Yeah. yeah. How does it make you feel when you walk around those buildings and you feel that gust of shit New York wind hit your face? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's the worst thing. I'm going to get off the airplane yeah. and I'm going to yeah. fucking kill myself. I'm going to put a bullet in my mouth. I yeah. swear to God. I was just in Chicago this weekend and uh, it was so bitter, so miserable. Racist, Tony. Easy. Come it on. It really was. That shithole. <laughs> You know, it kills me when people say to me, how do you go to Cleveland in the winter? Like, is it, what do I do? You think I go ice fishing? I stay in a fucking hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big crowd, Tony. Hell yeah. We've been having fun here in the main room every Monday. People come from around the world now. Remember, Dom? It was like five years ago we had you on. In June, it's going to be five years of doing this oh show. Oh, my God. We were, we were babies then. We were babies back then. I got to tell you, not, not for nothing, but you got to fucking lose this band. <laughs> They're coming on the road with us to uh, Houston and Dallas every single week. They play different characters, and they commit to them. I'm excited that they are back as a full unit tonight. Uh, put your hands together for the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. And Chroma Chris, the bass player. <laughs> what? All right, there, it's women... Diner waitresses? No fucking way. You're going to be diner waitresses throughout the show? Like old school. Pat Reagan has massive tits. He just kept shoving it in there. Wow. A mug of cigarette butts. They really followed through. They really committed with the cigarette butts in the mug. They are real smoked cigarettes. Uh, hell yeah. I, I mean, I'm just going to go with my gut here and guess that you guys are like old school diner waitresses? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to start off with? <laughs> Can I get you some coffee? <laughs> wow, that was unexpected. Jeremiah looks like a patient at a psychiatric ward. <laughs> <laughs> so you going like to order what, you Puerto Rican, huh? What are you going to do, huh? <laughs> oh, he's a girl? I thought that was the first part of Howard Stern's movie. I would never show you my private parts. He looks like Aziz Ansari's victim. Oh. What, you didn't see her face? I did. I know it's unpopular, but I'm going to side with uh, Aziz on this one. Jeez, wow. Really put your fingers in your mouth there. Uh, and I'm excited. And uh, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez back there is uh, clearly uh, an Indian warrior here to take back his land. He rode in on horseback and uh, with a bow and arrow. She's clearly the, the lady that they hired to clean up the restaurant <laughs> late nights. Um, how may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holy shit. This is very exciting. Well, diner waitresses, two of my favorite comedians, red band, everything's in place. I have a bucket full of comedians' names, or sometimes it's not even a comedian. Sometimes it's somebody's first time or just an insane person that signs up for random things. I pull their name. They get 60 seconds completely uninterrupted. We don't bother their 60 seconds, but after that, we can talk to them about anything in the world. Meet them, find out more about them, talk about what they talked about, shit like that. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> Wow. All right. You guys ready to start this thing? It's Kill Tony live from the main room with diner waitresses Dom Irera and Louis J. Gomez. All right. Let's do it. 
I pull the name out of the bucket, and the name that I pulled out is that of Noah Tidwell. Here we go. I see movement. There's a person jogging towards the stage. Keep coming this way. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Getting us kick-started in the pressure spot, it's Noah Tidwell. Don't worry. I'm not a school shooter, but I do look like one. <laughs> Come on, that joke usually kills. <laughs> yeah. uh, I just got divorced. Uh, can I get an amen? Amen. amen? Yeah, thank you, you know. It was really depressing, but we can still be cousins, though, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, um, uh, fuck. <laughs> I did not expect to take the bullet, uh, for no pun intended. Uh, but, uh, um, homeless, uh, sh uh t <laughs> homeless tents in L.A., huh? They're like modern-day tabernacles. They're not the best, but they're the most holy. Okay. Fuck yeah. Wow. Closing out with a strong, okay, Noah Tidwell. Wow. Noah, this is your first time on the show. Yes. Why do you look like you were born in an octagon? <laughs> Wait. This is your first time here. Do you want to hear the specials or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Noah, <laughs> Noah. Uh, you might be one of the specials, Noah. Uh, <laughs> is, Noah. Your name, is your dad's name Tennessee Tuxedo? Do you know him at all? How no. old are you? Because your face is like 12 and your skin is like <laughs> 55. <laughs> I can't quite get a read on you, Noah. Noah, 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 can I get you anything to start you off? Like some jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Noah, over that's here, a, Noah. It's that's okay. my Gloria Patty Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, uh, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, five years. Oh, wow. Man. No. Are you, are you I, fucking I, kidding me? <laughs> five, five years and, and you hesitated after 30 seconds? It's amazing how much crisp, clean material you get into one minute. <laughs> Seriously, good job. Keep up the good work. When, I, when, I, when you just said five years, I said your name. I went, no. Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Texas. Yeah, what part? Uh, for Dallas Fort Worth. Dallas Fort Worth. I just moved out Dallas here. Fort Worth less. <laughs> it's, oh, it's wow. Right there, buddy. Uh, it I, seems like everything's bigger in Texas except his laughs. <laughs>, <I> mean, <laughs> oh. Yeah, I moved out uh, six months ago. Uh, I live in San Diego. Uh, so you moved out from Dallas. What were you doing before you left Dallas? Um, I was doing stand-up there. But uh, what were you doing to make money? He was a decoration on uh, a little girl's I, I, bed. I, I was an electrician. <laughs> an electrician? Yeah. Did you get, like, you went to school for that? No, nah, I just uh, did an apprenticeship. Just no, took that's four. why you look the way you do. You were an untrained electrician <laughs> getting jolted by... 35,000 watts per day. I don't know if that's a lot. There you go. <laughs> See, we even had, we have a sound effect if just in case there's an untrained electrician. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm unqualified. unqualified. How, are you, how do you make money now that you live out here for the last six months? Um, I'm, a, I'm a freaking cook for KFC. Wow. Yeah. They really? don't call them cooks. You just work at KFC. <laughs> I'm the best cook, all right? I got a certification. You're a KFC employee. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're not Papa. a fucking line chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Electrician turned KFC cook. Well, you, actually, you, you, actually, I, I worked KFC first, and I had to like I was an electrician, but I couldn't find no work out here, so I had to resort back to KFC. You got to go back. Yeah, I gotta go yeah, back, that, man. Everybody back knows that's the secret recipe for success. <laughs> Holy shit, Noah Tidwell. What's, uh, what's one of your favorite things about being a cook at KFC? You know, just, you know, just making the chicken, you know, and spitting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, jacking off on, you know. Uh, and why do you do that in your fucking minute? Uh, making what? chicken was your answer? Your favorite thing? <laughs> making chicken. That's the most generic shit I've ever heard. Did they brainwash you? Nah, just love I, making I, chicken, man. 
it's like they uh all right, Brian, we get it. Jesus. <laughs> they, they, uh, they, uh, they, 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 you know, they give me this 11 recipes, you know, but, you know, I, I decided to have my 12th recipe, so. It wasn't that joke, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Thank what, God. I don't, is that why the chicken crossed the road? <laughs> to get away from your act? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was not even a criminal. Oh, he just it. fist bumped him <laughs> on the He actually insult. tried to punch me, that. but he's such a nerdy he <laughs> missed. These guys. Oh. He probably has a strong uppercut from lifting the basket so much at uh, the old chicken oh, yeah. basket. Were you ashamed that there wasn't even a kernel of anything funny in your <laughs> set tonight? <laughs> oh, shit. So, Noah, um, wow. So, you've lived here for six months. Like, what else are you doing other than doing stand up? And, like, obviously, you're going to open mics and stuff. Yeah? Um, I'm in school for creative writing. Oh, really? I, I could tell that by your act. <laughs> I went to, this is uh, Gloria speaking. Hello, Gloria. I went to USC film school for screenwriting. And look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Noah, what do you think's the creepiest thing about you? Uh, that, uh... It might be the Paddington Bear Jack. <laughs> What is the Paddington Bear Jacket? But, um, you kind of, you like, you said it earlier, when I shave my face, I look a lot younger than what, I'm, what I really am. Yeah. So you look, uh, 52? <laughs> I've been told that, too. Uh, oh, huh, huh. You live by yourself? No, I'm with some, uh, friends over there. You have friends? How many, how many roommates do you have? Uh, they left, by the way. <laughs> Two people. Two people. Mm. Small place? Oh, no, I live with my mom, you know? I live with my mom. Wait, your mom moved here too? Yeah. Was she trying to move away from you and you followed her? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Is is that true? You really live with your mom? Yeah, my mom and sister. Oh, are they really here? Oh, no, not here. I'm with with friends here. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't really email What does your mom do? Uh, Surgical tech. What? Surgical tech. A what? A surgical tech. Surgical, surgical tech. A surgical tech? Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. And I'm doing this. What does your sister do? Other uh, than drop you when you were a kid. <laughs> oh, my sister's actually younger than me, so I actually dropped her. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Noah. Uh, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for coming. On. Anything else you want to say? Uh, there I he goes. Noah all. Tidwell, everybody. Come on. There he goes. The one and the only. Five years in the game, 42 strong seconds. That's almost 10 seconds per year. He just touched me. Uh, uh. (laughs) He definitely touched me. One of my least favorite things. If it was up to me, I'd be in a fucking glass box like Robin Quivers on this goddamn thing. Will somebody get me that, like, for a present someday or something? A glass box? We should have a squirt bottle when they do that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys having fun out there? You get it? We just met Noah Tidwell for the first time. Lives with his mom and his sister from Texas. They all moved out here six months ago, and he looks like that. (laughs) Put your hands together for your next comedian, Jeff Herrera. (laughs) Herrera? Herrera? U-R-R-E-A? I think I got it. Here he comes. Jeff Herrera. Herrera. Hey guys, it's uh, Jeff Urea. Uh, recently single. I was engaged. People keep asking me, Jeff, what happened? Like, there's a one sentence response to why four years of a relationship didn't work out. I'm like, she fucking joined ISIS. You know, like, <laughs> what am I supposed to say? No, but the honest answer is, I'm a comedian, so I sacrifice the romance for the joke. Like, one night she came in, I'm not wearing any panties. I was like, well, we should probably do some laundry then. <laughs> Why are you whispering? Do laundry. So she did laundry, and then I found her Spanx. I didn't know she wore Spanx. I found this thing, like, what the fuck is this? Is this like, this lingerie? It's like all tight and stretchy. Like, is this a wetsuit? Look for a symbol on it. Like, is she butting crime at night? Cause it'd be fucking awesome, right? 
Anyways, um, try them on. <laughs> Wearing them right now, guys. Thank you. Let me get this right. Jeff Aria? Uria. 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 Okay, your act is die. Aria. <laughs> okay. Jeff, I love how you... I, you I had to wait 60 seconds to get that joke out. Is that oh why yeah. you bumped me? No, 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 no. <laughs> I bumped you because the first thing he did, he came up here and uh, you said Jeff, you know, Aria or whatever, and he just went, Uria. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, who the fuck are you to not have his name right, Tony Hinchcliffe? U-R-R-E-A. Hyph. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just fucking do you in a minute. You don't got to correct him on how he said your name. It's fine, dude. Nobody's going to remember you after this. It's technically, it's Uriah. You are one of the funniest weathermen we've ever had on this Thank show. Thank you very much. That's not even this. true. <laughs> My feet are killing me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 All right. Jeff, uh, what's your story? I've been seeing you around the comedy. This is your first time on the show, right? First time on the show. Okay, I've Thank been you seeing you around me. the comedy store for what, like six months? Four or months. Four, Four months. months. Yeah. And uh, so what's your story? Uh, I was the manager of the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club for like seven years. Uh, this week, this last week was 11 years of me doing stand-up comedy. And I was engaged, and uh, I was uh, the vice chair of the Ventura County Democratic Party. Thank you, Trump. Uh, and I quit everything and, and to move down to L.A. to be a comedian and a filmmaker. How long ago, when you say you were engaged, that means you're no longer engaged, No longer right? engaged. What? not living oh. anymore, Tony. Um, <laughs> so how long has it been since you were got not engaged? It's, it's been six months, and we officially, like, we try working things out. And so this is an fine. interesting thing. All right, I'm intrigued. So you were engaged. How long were you with the girl? Four years. Wow. I, I, she was my first relationship when I quit drinking. Oh. And uh, uh. they say never to get in a relationship when you quit drinking, and that's, that's why, because oh. it never works out. Jeff, it, it really broke your heart, huh? I mean, it really t tore you apart. Tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But while, before you tell us about it, start thinking about the other guy that's probably fucking her right now. <laughs> <laughs> now go. Oh, that's a spot. <laughs> Where did things go wrong with that? Like, what, what ended up happening? Because I've never really heard that uh, drinking thing with a relationship, so tell me more. Um, you know, when you're a comedian and you're an alcoholic, like, <laughs> having... Take a knee, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> no, for me, I just, just things changed, you know? Like, I had dreams, and, and if you're an alcoholic and you drink, it's like having a car with no gas, you know? <laughs> How All many right. times have you said that shitty car with no gas analogy in your life? A lot. Not, not a whole lot, actually. I, 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 listen. I go to AA and I listen. You know, right. I don't, I don't drink anymore, but uh, yeah. And so I'm down here. And, Can I uh, ask you? Uh, that's good for you. Yeah. Look, sure. three nerds. Slow clap from a, <laughs> somebody drinking a Corona right there. <laughs> Just clap for you. Um, Jeff, uh, how long has it been that you've been sober? Uh, from alcohol, four years. Four years. Yeah. March will be four years. Hey, uh, hey, still hey, smoke Jeff. weed. Hey, Jeff. So funny. Hey Jeff, how long have you been sober from hunting werewolves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fucking werewolf hunter, you. <laughs> Jeff, uh, what? what the, can you mind talking about it? Like, what's uh, like the craziest thing you ever did when you got wasted? Like, what made you sort of get it together? Do you think? Um, well, I have two DUIs, and because uh, I'm Mexican and Irish, uh, no, I. Uh, I got kicked out of my DUI class for showing up hungover. Uh, oh, I like a bad boy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Flo. Let's do this. Was uh, it was uh, nine hours after my last drink. I showed up at uh, 11.30 in the morning, and, I, and my alcohol counselor smelled alcohol, and I blew like the legal limit like nine hours after my last drink. Was this before or after you got in a fight with Barney and Wilma? <laughs> <laughs> Schulberg is in the house tonight. Um, what was your drink of choice? Uh, well, at the comedy club, I would start out with the vodka diet coke because you, you can't really smell vodka as much, Ugh. and there's no sugar in it either. So I wouldn't get 
the, as bad of a hangover. And then I would go downtown, and I was in Ventura, like one of the only like five comics that fucking live up there. I would just fucking go out and party and get drink Rolling Rocks and Fireball. All you night. think there's not sugar in Diet Coke? There is, but like not like if you drink you know vodka and orange juice and cranberry, like that shit will mess you up the next day. Or like vodka and Red Bull will fuck you up the next day because of all the sugar in it. That's interesting. I drank every day almost for about ten years straight. Wow. I went to school at UCSB and I started a comedy show there. And I and like now I went back and none of the kids drink. You 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 would have such a great story if Burt Kreischer wasn't alive. <laughs> 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 but this is just boring horseshit compared to Burt like, so and other actual now. party animals. You're just a fucking. You're kind of a failure, and you're trying to turn it into this party animal thing, and it's just not, I'm not buying it. Yeah, I mean, other than, I mean, two DUIs, sure. Showing up hungover, all right. Well, I mean, like, what's something, like, would you have to have, like, fucking something crazy that happened or that you would do or that you did? Tell us about a hooker that you killed. Come on, yeah. bitch. I, Let's get to the good shit. Is it the a good D- shit? The good shit, one time I had sex uh, 12 times in one night when I was drunk. Wait, you did what? I had sex 12 times in one night when I was drunk. What was his name? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, his name was Dino. Gets so physical here. He doesn't realize how sensitive our tables are on Kill Tony. It's just smoke and mirrors, bro. Yeah. Everything tips over here. <laughs> you have some strong legion of skanks table you're used to. Just... <laughs> This is just weird. Look at look at how wobbly that's fun. Anyway, I didn't I didn't know you could get a DUI when you power the car with your feet. I don't <laughs> <laughs> there was actually a guy in my DUI class who got his DUI riding a horse in Oxnard. Oh, that's another you got a DUI riding a horse. N- another good story. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, do you have any special skills or talents? Uh, anything? Uh, uh, I'm good at karaoke. Uh, really? Is yeah. That true? I think that's a skill, guys. I skill think he's going to have to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you diner waitress. I mean. Go ahead. <laughs> I thought that was Great. him for a second. That was awesome. Did you see that? That sounded exact. <laughs> Yabba dabba do not. <laughs> Yabba dabba me too. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Well, I guess we'll find out more about you well, next time. Dude, thanks for having me. You guys are awesome. Hell yeah, guys. definitely. Keep coming back, guys. Not only is he sobering, so is his comedy. Jeff Aria. <laughs> we had one of those awkward moments where I, I just put my fist out and he starts shaking my fist. And I start, <laughs> Jeff, sorry about that. Next time. Like a baby. Th- these people are too nice. You said it. They're nice. I want to be mean to them. And then I look over and I see their faces. I'm like, all right, fuck it. I can't do this. Can we bring up a real asshole next so I can hit him? I'll bring up a mirror. Well, this next guy is pretty, it's, he's a pretty big asshole. He's the biggest asshole I know. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. Put your hands together for Matthew Maloney, everybody. He's a nice guy. But he is big. I think if you're going for the big thing. I was just being sarcastic. Oh. Matthew Maloney, everyone. January's half over. Are you guys still pretending you're going to lose weight? Because I am. Started looking into gyms. Turns out they're all ripoffs. $40 a month? Are you fucking kidding me? Netflix is $8 a month. So I decided I'm going to build my own gym. And you better believe I ain't paying taxes on it because it's also going to be a church. (laughs) Going to call it God is my fitness. (laughs) Come on in. Confess to cheating on your wife or your diet. Either way, we'll absolve you. It's going to give whole new meaning to the term CrossFit. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah. Bowing out after 45 seconds. Matthew Maloney. Oh, he was out of breath. Yeah. How are you, Matthew? I'm doing good, Tony. How are you? Good. It's been a while since you've been on the show. It has. Um, Have you gotten bigger? Yes, I have. I've gained weight. Wow. What's going on? Like, what, What did your diet consist of? 
been eating a lot of creme brulee. <laughs> really? Just straight up creme brulee? How do you even do that? <laughs> Why? You make it yourself? <laughs> Vanilla <laughs> custard? Do you flame the top? Yeah. How do you flame the top? I got a kitchen torch. For you custard. have a fucking kitchen yeah. torch? <laughs> Wow, just so that you can make yourself creme brulee. Is that even on the menu, ladies? That hasn't been on the menu for years. <laughs> you, could just, you could just use Aquanet and a, a lighter also. You don't need a torch. Yes, I feel like I've do. asked so many people like that question sometimes, Wait, and uh, I've never really gotten the answer I wanted until tonight on that one. Like, oh, creme brulee, I make it myself. Like, fuck yeah. That's crazy, because that's, I mean, you're just eating straight up, like, I mean, that is just, you are eating it, the worst parts of the cow, like, the fattiest, fucking, just, most creamy, whole fucking buttery, that's just yeah, custard. That's, that's, I'm getting horny. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, cut to a scene, he's got a fucking lighter and some jello pudding, just, uh, <laughs> creme brulee. It is, it is basically the, uh... But I'm not using vanilla extract, I'm actually cutting vanilla beans open. Oh, so Jesus Christ. Better, right? <laughs> This guy is another level fat. <laughs> man. So, what else have you been doing for fun, Matthew? Uh, oh, man, besides the creme brulee. <laughs> <laughs> so much creme brulee. Fair enough. I see an album name, a TV show name, and your merch all happening. You could be the creme brulee king. <laughs> Dom, what do you think about this creme brulee boy? He's making me hungry. <laughs> I he wish looks, I had some. He looks like the biggest baby in the world. Yeah, he really does. But in a, in a good way. I <laughs> <laughs> You're does everybody in your family have that baby face? My mom does. Yeah? Yeah. My brother, too. Your brother, too? Yeah. What does your brother do? Uh, he, is, he's, he went to school to become a pilot, and now he's working as a bouncer. I bet he. I bet he is. I bet he is. Aviation doesn't fare well with the Maloneys. You know what I mean? <laughs> Spending too much on gas. <laughs> it's a real. Uh, I get it, Brian. Yeah. Who was? <laughs> he got. So your brother got big too, right? He, uh, less or so, but he's big too. He was a football player. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You never played football? Hell no. No. <laughs> what was your uh, What was your sport of choice? Theater. Creme brulee. <laughs> <laughs> theater? Yeah, it was a theater. Really? What'd you play? Babe Ruth? <laughs> I don't know. Why would Babe Ruth be in a theater production? It doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> what were you, the house that the fiddler played on? Uh, the root? Oh, I, come no? On. That was <laughs> so mean. Stupid. Uh, okay. No, he wasn't, apparently. <laughs> what were you, Romeo and Orange Jew? It's <laughs> okay. Were you, were you sad when they killed off your character on Game of Thrones? <laughs> were you the Nutcracker what? Factory? Sam? Or do you still hold the door here? There he is. The crowd goes crazy. Oh, man. Matthew, how do you supplement your income? Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm unemployed. <laughs> I just came back from the mushroom trip. Oh, I forgot where I was. <laughs> how do you make money, Matthew? I am unemployed. I'm not making money. Oh, wow. Yeah. How, do, how do you, how do you uh, pay for your creme brulee habits? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I just steal all the ingredients. It's not that hard. There's only, like, it's, it's eggs, uh, cream, sugar. That's it. It's actually oh, hard to steal God. all those things. <laughs> oh, my God. How long have you been doing this creme brulee thing? I just got into it. Uh, <laughs> it's a new hobby of mine. Yeah, that's. Man, why do I feel like you should? Uh, why do I feel like my advice should be for you to stop eating creme brulee and for Jeff Uria to start drinking again? No, it's too late to make a call back to him. Uria. Everybody already forgot. <laughs> all right, as uh, all diner waitresses do, uh, Jeremiah came out with some bubble gum. And, of course, he threw it away because he doesn't chew anything he can't <laughs> swallow. <laughs> Matthew, what's your love life like? Uh, empty. Empty? Yeah, I you ever try? Are there, are there like, uh, dating sites for bigger people, like even more plenty of fish or something <laughs> like or, that? Uh, or uh, maybe you for should... Plenty of fish sticks? You should try creme brulee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Matthew, uh, so what's, do, you, do you try it all? Like, are you on any dating apps or anything like that? <laughs> no, not currently. It's just sticking to the creme brulee. Mm. 
<laughs> All right. Tell Have you tried to use a blowtorch on a date? No. Have you tried to torch anything else interesting other than your vanilla <laughs> custards? <laughs> other than your sweet, sweet eggs, cream, and sugar? Uh, I light people's cigarettes. It's fun. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> All right. Oh, Matthew. All right. Tony. Yeah. He dropped that piece of candy and he looked at it and went, no way, I'm fucking picking that up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Stretchy oh. pants. You couldn't catch that? Jackass. He only lost two buttons and a zipper on that bend over. He, <laughs> he has been waiting 15 years to shame somebody else for their athletic ability. Ladies and gentlemen, there he goes, Matthew Maloney. He's on Twitter at Matthew E. Maloney, Jeffaria, U-R-R-E-A, and at Tidwell.Noah, if you remember him from earlier. There you go. Some interesting characters so far. All right, back to the bucket we go. Where it what about a white guy? Can we get a white guy up here? <laughs> see what Ichabod's bucket of destiny gives us. Put your hands together for Sean Karen. Sean Karen. So everybody's getting these uh, DNA tests done nowadays. So I went ahead and I got one. I'm black and white. I thought it was Puerto Rican. <laughs> So I gotta be real with you guys. You know, my first reaction was, oh, I'm not white, I'm not black. I, I wanna be one thing. And then I was like, I got bigger things to worry about, man. I'm bald. <laughs> I'm bald. My, my scalp looks like Ventura Hills. After the fires. I'm holding on. I need aid, send aid. You know? I need a van. What am I gonna call one of my boys? Like, yo, she left me. Who did? My hairline. <laughs> yeah. That's all the hair shit that I got. <laughs> Sean Karen. There he goes. Now Sean. I remember you from last week. Last week was your first time on the show, uh, and you have cerebral palsy. Yeah. And you're, you said you're Puerto Rican. Oh, I thought I was. Oh. Yeah. I, I grew up Louis J. Gomez actually is Puerto Rican. He's yeah. known as the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. Yeah. And I also thought I had cerebral palsy. <laughs> Uh, I like to hear, I'm going to tell you one thing I really like, dude. I like the fact that you didn't come up here and that was the only thing that you talked about. You know, um, I think a lot of people, you know, whether they have a disability or they're black, uh, that's... Oh. They will only go to that over and over and over again. And I was watching, I was like, there's something fucking wrong with this guy. But I guess not, because he's not even talking about it. So, <laughs> so good on you, dude. I think it was a good instinct to, to be thinking about different things. And I remember specifically a week ago, you absolutely killed. It was very, very interesting. And unfortunately, last week, I wasn't hosting the show. Uh, so I didn't really get to delve in and figure out much else about you other than the fact that you had cerebral palsy. And we had a host that wanted to move on so that he could, uh, I don't know what. Yeah, so uh, what kind of skills do you got? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even asked that tonight. I love that that's like your go-to impression. <laughs> Anyway, Sean, so like, uh, what kind of skills do you have? Or, uh... I'm a man of many talents. Yeah? Like, I'm, a, I'm a wrestler. Uh -huh. I'm, a, I'm a lover. I'm a poet. I'm, yeah? You know, what's your, what's your go-to move in the, uh, in the bedroom? You hit him with that old cerebral ballsy? You know what I mean? That fucking... <laughs> I, I like to mix it up. You can't just do one. Like, like how, like how I, I can't just talk about one thing. I got to be well-rounded. You got to be... be Element of surprise, you know, you gotta be like a ninja. You know, yeah, you gotta... what do you do? What do you mean surprise? That's called rape, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gotta be a ninja. Get them when they don't expect it. Come down from the ceiling and just fuck the shit out of them. Like, have you ever been fingering a girl and got your hand stuck inside of her? 
No, I, I have, I, yeah, I have, yeah, uh, yeah, a little You look bit. like the kind of guy that would do some real Aziz Ansari <laughs> shit with your hands, yeah. right? Some of that fucking V-mouth shit, that fucking, yeah. you fucking they call pig surprise. <laughs> He's Aziz the one that said he wants to surprise him, you assholes. <laughs> Aziz, look, he tried to do that move where you make a pussy out of your fingers with her mouth. <laughs> Like, open it up, look inside, it's a pussy. <laughs> oh, shit, master of none. And... <laughs> oh, man. Sean, so uh, other than, you know, being like a ninja, what are some other of your uh, go-to bedroom moves? I'm interested. I, I love to eat pussy, I love, I love that. Like, yeah. Yeah. What's the longest you think you've spent down on a girl? A, do you long want that, uh, a long time. Do you want that medium rare, medium wild, well, well done? <laughs> <laughs> Medium rare is uh, with a red center, pink on the outside. <laughs> no, anyway. All right, Sean. <sighs> what do you do for a living? Uh, right now, I'm an Uber driver, Uber Eats driver. You're an yeah, Uber yeah, driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Eats, though, just the Eats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't deal with fucking humans. <laughs> I heard there, there was an order of Linguini that wrote a bad report on you the other day. <laughs> Swerving, going from lane to lane. <laughs> Yeah. You can only <laughs> you can only deliver <laughs> scrambled eggs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> have you ever ate have you ever ate from the food when you were before you delivered it? Like you're hungry and you a just little, want to have yeah, yeah, yeah. some fries. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> the shoestring ones, they're so good. They're so oh, so good. Oh, shoestring is so gross. Oh. You have to touch. Shoestring just means that you touched even more fries. You yeah. know what I mean? The quantity of fries that your hands, which seem to be hairy and a little bit with that natural <laughs> CP curvature to them. It's now, perfect for the form, you know what I'm saying? Streamlined. Like. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's interesting. Shoestring fries for a guy that wears uh, Velcro shoes. <laughs> Come on, people. It was a joke. It's because he has cerebral palsy and sometimes they wear the special handicap Velcro shoes. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a good shoestring reference. It'd be like the only shoestrings that he deals with. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, if I like, really wanted to spell it out. In fact, we could just make the rest of the show watching him try to tie his own shoes. <laughs> yeah. When's the last time you really laced those shoes? That seems like you just wow. slipped. A it's wow. a long time. Yeah. Well, uh, w uh, w longer... What, what is it, longer since you've laced those shoes, or... All right, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> what else, Sean? Give us some more Sean fun facts. Oh, man. Very, very, very funny. You killed last week, had a fun set this week. You opened up with the same joke that you opened up with last week, though. Yeah. We don't like to repeat jokes on this show since people only do get to do 60 seconds. The interesting thing yeah, was... Yeah, you fucking asshole. Killed last week, yeah. and it didn't, uh, it didn't get much this week, and it's the same joke. Uh... What else, Sean? Tell us some more interesting stuff. Funny guy. So, pr yeah, so, um, what else, what else? I'm into tattoos. Like, uh, before I wanted to do comedy, like, I'm going hard with comedy now. Um, I, I, hope you're not I hope you're not giving the tattoos. Holy shit. Uh, no, I actually, I actually wanted to. And then no I was like, no. Nah. But then they were like, you, you actually yeah, physically yeah. can't do this. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leave right now. Here's your admission money to tattoo school yeah, back. Yeah. We're sorry. <laughs> you have a better chance in the NBA, kid. Yeah. <laughs> he only draws Dr. Katz figures. <laughs> you L.A. stink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, Sean, um, tell us more. Uh, yeah. What the fuck was <laughs> I'm, the I'm answer? from Long Island. Where are you from? Long Island. Uh, New Yorker. Fuck yeah, yeah. doggy. Yeah. How long have you been out here? Where are you from? Six months. Five months. Five months. Yeah, five months. Huh. Where do you live? Thai town. What? Mm -hmm. Thai town. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about living in Thai town? Asians. I love Asian people. Yeah. <laughs> Asian people. Said no one ever. <laughs> do, you ever do you ever go to the massage parlors? Yeah. It's, I, I always want, I, I like research. I like Google, like, how do you like, ask for the, ma, ma, how do you ask for the, I don't just want to just ask. No, you I just, just know start, the right way to you do just it. start rubbing her leg. That's not how it works at all. <laughs> um, when you said you love Asian people, what do you mean exactly? Like, what do you love about Asian people? Oh, man. They're raw. They don't care. They'll just be like, you smell, or why you do that? What? Like, they're, like, they're, or like, they why you walk care. like that? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. But they're, like, they're genuine, so like, it's cool. I'll be like, talk. They oh, bully you. Special. you. He's special. All right. He's special. You like the fact that they bully you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. They tell it like it is. Yeah. So you're saying that sometimes you do smell? 
<laughs> yes, he's saying yeah, that, Tony. I guess so. I guess I'll take that as a uh, involuntary yes. Like fries and butts. <laughs> Now, I'm going to sort of ask you the same thing I asked Matthew. Do they have, like, a special dating app for you or, like, anything like that where you can hang out with other people that sort of, like, uh, you know, don't can't walk it's completely called, normal? It's called Shaken, Not Stirred. <laughs> <laughs> Toward Harmony. <laughs> oh. Right? Nothing like that? Uh, not that I know. There has to be an app for people with special needs, 100%. It's, it's, it's called Cer- Cerebral Paul A to Cerebral Paul Z. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Too smart? All right, bye. Uh, That's what we were all thinking. Too smart, George. (laughs) Can I be sincere? (laughs) Dumble. (laughs) You know what? Fuck everyone in this crowd. How about that? (laughs) Dumble was good. Maybe timber, because you guys are always falling down. (laughs) All right, anyway, Sean, what's the last date you went on? What was that like? A while ago. Oh. Actually, I don't, I don't go on dates. I'm not, especially now, because I'm just going, I'm going hard with this. I'm just going on mics. But, like, I went to, after a show, I, I hooked up with somebody, like, at the, because at the, we had a show at a bar, so, like, at the back of the bar. Oh, oh shit. In yeah. the bar? Wow. Yeah. You went all the way in the back of the bar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Fuck yeah. 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 Wait. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest with you. For, like, uh, like I guess is it special needs? Is that what it would be described as, right? Yeah. You're very attractive. Oh, thanks. You're like, you're like literally the best looking special needs person I've ever seen in my entire uh, life. Shit. Yeah. He's a handsome fucking guy. Yeah. Uh, and he's got a good smile, good face. Yeah, he's dude, he would be, if there attitude. was an app for retarded people, I don't want to say retarded, I don't know if that's what it is, but if there was an app for that, you would be crushing puss on oh, yeah. it, dude. Yeah, you'd be, you'd, you'd be like the Bruno Tards of, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah. People, I mean, sure, they'd have to swipe like up and diagonal a little bit. <laughs> yes. Uh, Make the Z. Shit. <laughs> what kind of bar was this? At, a, at the show? Yeah. It was a candy bar, Tony. <laughs> And, like, where were you? Like, behind curtains or something? Or in a bathroom? No, nah, just in the bathroom. Like, because I guess we were just talking for a while, and then every people had cleared out. But I guess we were just in the back. That retarded guy's fucking a girl in the back. Yeah, Everyone yeah, leave. That's what I think it was. This is crazy. Like, What's going on here? The world's ending. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird that they would <laughs> give you guys a table in the back. Normally, you guys have the table in the front, right? Yeah. Very, very <laughs> good spot always. No. Yeah. That was because he was half black. <laughs> <laughs> do you drive? You yeah, do, yeah, yeah. You drive food for a living. That's right. All right. <laughs> what else, Sean? What's the what's like your favorite accomplishment that you've ever uh, been part of? Non comedy thing, like non, something non-comedy. cool. Non comedy. Yeah. Uh, I graduate. I went to Temple U- Temple University. I graduated. Go Els. Oh, yeah. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, fist bump. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Ow. <laughs> That was involuntary. <laughs> what did you, uh... <laughs> what did you major in at in, uh, Temple? English. English. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wh- oh, all right, cool. <laughs> What's Temple's, like, big sport? Basketball, huh? Yeah, they're big into basketball. Oh. How, how long of a set do you have? Like, how, how long is the longest you've done? Oh, l- probably, like, six minutes, seven minutes. Six like, minutes. I could... I could Without like stretching, like with with punches, also probably like six minutes, seven minutes. Yeah, but I'm always improving. Like, and we know it's hard for you to both stretch and punch. Yeah. So. <laughs> anyway, Sean, there he goes. Two weeks in a row, Sean Karen. He's got the luck of the bucket. He's on Twitter. It's Sean is building. S H A U N is or is that balding? Sean is balding. You're balding. It says. Well, we might have a cure in a future episode. Ooh la la, that's right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. You know, this looks like a new person. Put your hands together for Jenny Griffin. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. It's Jenny Griffin. What's up? 
All right, so a little bit about me. I uh, recently got out of an abusive relationship. Thank you. I'm doing great. I just finished serving my time. Uh, yeah. That fucker did call the cops on me, and uh, I did go to jail. And uh, that's, that wasn't it, though. That, if you did, oh, wow. Um, I have a restraining order, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's my baby daddy. Yeah, so we have two kids. I'm a parent. Anybody else? Yeah? <sighs> I know, fuck kids, too. <laughs> I love my kids though, I love, they make me laugh. Um, they fucking make me laugh. Uh, my mistake was sharing a dating story with them. My daughter now repeats it, but she substitute me for Cinderella, so the story goes like, once upon a time, Cinderella, there it is, all right. Go ahead, you can finish it, Jenny. All right, so uh, once upon a time, Cinderella goes on a date, and then she has diarrhea, so she has to go to the restroom, and um, that was it, her date laughter, the end. <laughs> and that's a true story <laughs> that I shared with them. There you go, okay. Jenny Griffin. <laughs> okay. Uh, Here we go, let's just jump right into it. Right now, who the hell is watching your kids? <laughs> I split custody with the baby daddy, so he is. And if they make you laugh, who Listen, makes them laugh? how many times do I have to tell you we don't split checks here? <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Three years. Oh, my God. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> you shit yourself? I was 100% sure this would be one of those ones that was like a first time yeah, or something first like night. that. I, wow, that's crazy. Well, how many times have you done it in three years? Please uh, tell me. No, no, seen your kids. I have. No, uh, I see that I have thirty percent. He has seventy percent. So. Um, oh, what, I, what we, the yeah, fuck did I'm you the do? I'm the baby daddy. You better leave me at least twenty yeah. percent. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, you have Holy to be. Shit. Let me explain to you guys something because I'm I'm in a, a, a co-parenting relationship. Um, you have to be such a dangerous psychopath for him to get the majority of custody. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What like, did you do? The woman never. <laughs> Ever it doesn't, doesn't yeah. get the majority of custody. I this I am terrified to be this fucking close to you. Right. I have no idea what she did, but she's not a good person. And it really is. And here's you know what's interesting. You the you had amazing setups throughout this entire thing. I was waiting for so many punches. There was setup, 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 setup. I have this, so was your baby's daddy. <laughs> So, I mean, but you really didn't give us any of the juice, any of the details. You just sort of gave us your, like, uh, your, like, uh, very bad uh, employment resume. Are you, are you obsessive, jealous type girlfriend? No. Where did, where did it start? Yeah, what from? happened? Yeah. I want to know what you did that fucking made, that made you lose the majority of custody because it has to be a dark story. You did something fucked up. Come on. Give well, us I, I slapped him and I kind of beat him up and, that, and then he called the cops. So. Slapped him and kind of beat him up. He deserved it, though. What, what did, did he, he do? do? He cheated. So. Are you sure? Are you sure that he cheated? He told me he cheated. I wow. didn't catch him. Who did he, he cheat with? Told me. What, Obsessive what, what jealous. A girl. Just some random a, girl? Yeah. It did. Some bitch. <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Some fucking bitch. I don't know her. It, it, <laughs> Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Any more questions, Tony? Fuck that. Where did it happen? Now, don't tell me it happened in the back of a bar. No, no. We lived together in our apartment. Yeah, she was just holding the kids when it happened. Oh, wow. Where were you and the kids when it happened? We were all in the same apartment. Oh. Really? Yeah. The, the oh, kids shit. saw this? The ki no, the kids were in the room. They were playing. They're so blind. We were having it on I have blind kids, fool. <laughs> I said, fuck it. I'm going to hit this fucker right in front of them. <laughs> they can't see. I don't give a fuck, eh? 
How big? Any more questions, Tony? How big is the apartment, Jenny? What? How big was the apartment? Uh, two bedroom. Two bedroom. Well, so they're in one bedroom playing, and you guys are what in the other bedroom? Yeah. And where did? All right. Well, maybe he wouldn't. <laughs> maybe he wouldn't have cheated if your pussy didn't have a C rating. <laughs> Jenny, what is your ethnicity? Your name's Jenny Griffin, uh, but yeah. uh, you don't. Uh, all right. I'm Mexican. Right. Jenny Griffin's just a, like a cover. That's his last name. Oh, oh you keep his last yeah. name, just say fuck him, because that other bitch ain't taking it, right? Yep. <laughs> I just oh. like it. How long ago did you break? How long ago did this happen? This was three years ago. How old are your kids? Four and six. How wow. long did you go away for? It was only a day. Oh, that's not fucking I, prison. I, I, Go it ahead. You were about to say something there. You were about to say something. No, but I did have. I do have a restraining order, and that was for three years. So I could go to jail if I talk to him. They're gonna have to so. drag me though. Fuck that, eh? <laughs> Come and get me. I fucking dare you, eh? <laughs> when you the pigs. When you say you slapped him and beat him up a little bit. Was that uh, like what else? What are some of your other moves? If you ha if we had Jenny Griffin, the video game character on UFC, the video game, like what would be in your skill set? Like a spatula? <laughs> she'd, a, stick a, uh, she'd stick a pit bull on him. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, chico. <laughs> you fucking cheated, eh? <laughs> Honey, real quick, can I add anything to your restraining order? Like some eggs? <laughs> Fertilized? What did you do? Did you just go close fist? Did you throw elbows? What was uh, some of your moves? Um, I just slapped him and um, what kind he of said combos, I scratched huh? him. What he kind of said combos? you scratched him. He said I scratched was him. There a you fucking scratched him. That. Shut the fuck up, Jenny. <laughs> you scratched that guy. Admit it. I don't remember. You fucking liar. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it would probably feel good to come clean right now in front of these people. It would be, it would be you Jenny, would, you know what? We brought your kids. Bring them out. Come on. Come on. Here they are. Tell your kids you're sorry. Come Here's on, Jenny. Here's the kids of Jenny Griffin. They're wearing boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is so fun. So, Jenny, what do you do for a living? I'm a Lyft driver. Wow. Interesting. Mm -hmm. How long have you been doing that for? A month. Only a month? What'd you do before that? I was in construction. Construction? <laughs> <laughs> Facial reconstruction of my ex. Now you're rebuilding your life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was not Joburg. That was Jeremiah Watkins. <laughs> so you shut up about that. It's a shame your husband didn't wear a hard hat. You wouldn't have those two pesky kids running around the house. Jenny, what kind of construction did you do? I was in the project team. So, uh... I we know you were in the projects, but... <laughs> 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 I was in outside. I was handling paperwork in the administration. Mm. Any of those guys in the construction place ever make a pass on you? You get flirted with a lot there? They yeah. better not, eh? <laughs> Where'd you meet your baby daddy at? At a bar. Hooters. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what did you just say after you said a bar? Hooters. Oh, were you working there? My God. Hooters bar. Were you wow. working there or were... No, we were watching the... I was going to say, those are not great Hooters. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Come on. Please say Dodger game. <laughs> Please say Dodger game. Dodger game, Raiders game. Uh, Lakers. Uh -huh. All right, shout out to the Lakers. Yeah. But he's not, uh, he's not Mexican, is he? No, he's black. Oh. You beat up a black guy? <laughs> oh, and now, by the way, and now it all makes sense to me because when you said that you scratched him but you don't remember that, I'm like, well, where was the scratch? But black guys don't have the power to get scratched. A lot of people don't know that. There's no scratch left afterwards. A black, black guy out. let a girl beat him up? What a bitch. Everybody in the hood makes fun of him now. It's great. Now, does a black cock taste different? <laughs> think so <laughs> have most of the men uh, most of the men that you've been with have been black is that your overall preference throughout most of your life I'm really open minded <laughs> seems like you're pretty open legged too a judge gave a black man 
70% custody. Shit, yeah. What did you do? And you slapped him. And he says you scratched him. Did you get crazy in the courtroom? I could see you getting crazy in the courtroom. Did you? You did? What'd you say in the courtroom? She did a Mexican get out with her family. Well, that's where I got the three year restraining order. Oh, wow. Yeah. What what did you say in the courtroom? What'd you do? Something horrible like that Cinderella story you told at the end of your set? Yeah. She just did her act. (laughs) Objection! (laughs) You will stop, madame. (laughs) That's it. Three years, 70 30 for the black man. (laughs) All right. What else? You seem so compelling, Jenny. You seem like you're, you're like a cool like comedy thug or something like that. You're like the bad girl of comedy. You don't even have jokes. I love it. <laughs> but you have like all the attitude. What else? Have you gotten in trouble for other things before? No, that was the first time. Do you like hot Cheetos? I love hot Cheetos. <laughs> you do. <laughs> What about Takis, huh? (laughs) Is that a girl that likes black guys thing? Yeah. Wow, really? It's it's a Mexican thing. I thought that was the name of a black guy. Does she have Jordans on? (laughs) Oh, you talking about Hot Cheetos Johnson? Hot Cheetos, (laughs) man. Oh, you know Hot Cheeto. (laughs) Oh, shit. Well, Jenny, all right. You went from construction, you drive in a lift. How often do you go on stage? How often do you do stand-up? Every other night. More than she sees her fucking children. I gotta work. How often do you ask people, where are you from, homie? <laughs> what do you think is the most Mexican thing about you? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think is the most Mexican thing about you? Like, of all the stereotypes that you can think of or anything that you do in which you're like, I wonder why I do that. Maybe it's in my blood. Like, wow. Blood um, in, blood out. For example, oh. like the most Mexican thing my wife okay. does is she fucking loves quesadillas. <laughs> Your turn. I like chiles. What? I like chiles. Chiles? Spicy stuff. We're going to go to Joelberg Joel Jimenez on the scene <laughs> to uh, decipher this. It's a restaurant, Tony. Do you want me to translate or thumbs up it or thumbs down it? Uh, you can just uh, give us a description of what she just chiles, said. She just means she likes spicy shit. Chiles. Oh. You know, chilies. Ah. Yeah, we all like Chili's, the restaurant. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Too bad we don't have one of those chips that we ate last week right now. Yeah. You, you like really, really, really hot stuff? Yeah. Did you ever have a guy with cerebral palsy go down on you? <laughs> He's half black. <laughs> well, sort of. He's like 70-30. There she goes, Jenny Griffin. Thank you so much. Giving us all the dirt. I love it. I love it. Welcome back to Kill Maury Povich. Uh, (laughs) More time for Jenny Griffin giving us all the fun, uh, exclusive (laughs) Jenny Griffin information. We just learned a lot about her. She's really open about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You would would hide in shame or something, but no. Internet. Maybe, who knows? (laughs) Maybe next time she comes back and it's just all punchlines to those setups that she gave us tonight. You never know. Don't say punch around her. Let's uh, let's go back to the bucket again. Here we go. You guys having fun out there, huh? I could use a break. (laughs) Put your hands together for A.J. Faji. A.J. Faji. Here he comes. Come on, everybody. Make some noise for A.J. Faji. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I just moved here from Texas a few months ago. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm single, so I'm doing the online dating thing. Uh, it's weird though, I feel like people have codes for what they want in a relationship. For instance, if you get online and a girl in Texas is like, uh, I'm a country girl, and all she's trying to say is uh, no black guys is what that means. <laughs> or if you get online and a young lady's like, I'm a southern belle, what that means is, no seriously, no black guys. <laughs> 
Upon extended research, it became clear it was just code to try and keep your boy out. However, uh, once I got online and girls like, Hennessy's my drink of choice. <laughs> to which I said, get in the car, we're done here, right? I mean, uh, I'm Nigerian, might have noticed a little bit of an accent. Uh, sometimes people will come up to me and want to connect. One thing I get off is, hey Faji, you speak so well, you speak such good English. And granted, that would be a great compliment uh, if English wasn't the only language I spoke. <laughs> Do you know what that's like when somebody comes and compliments you on some shit you do in your default setting? There you go, AJ Faji. AJ, first of all, very, very funny. Uh, really what I want to know is how does it feel to have 70% custody <laughs> of those little children? And how yeah, bad really was that scratch? <laughs> Also, you said you're Nigerian. Did you ever get the money that you're trying to get those, those emails? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I knew that was going to be the first one for sure. I knew it. Were you born here in America? No, I was born in Nigeria. How long have you... <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, I've, uh, I was born in Nigeria. I lived there for six years. Then moved to New York City. Lived there till about 11, then moved back to Nigeria. That's, nice That's how bad New York City is. <laughs> <laughs> like there are way too many black people on this yeah. island. Yeah. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, moved back to Nigeria, there to 19, moved to Iowa for college, and then to Dallas. You went to Iowa college. University? No, Drake I University. Oh, Drake University. Hell it's yeah. the rapper, He's he has a college. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, started from the bottom, now you're there. <laughs> Yes, Nigeria is the bottom. <laughs> I love it, but I mean, it is pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, if you're soft or whatever. What made you pick Drake <laughs> University in Iowa? Uh, I actually didn't give a fuck in college. I mean, in high school, so, like, I had good grades and everything, but I couldn't be bothered, so I just was filling out applications to schools that didn't require me to send an application fee from Nigeria and didn't require me to write an essay. Oh. It's too much work. Wow. Well, instead of writing one essay and spending four they years make you in one place, you decided to just not write one essay and spend four years in Iowa? I realize in hindsight it seems pretty clear, but going forward it wasn't that simple when I right. thought about it. So. When right. he says essay, they make him write to one Mexican guy. <laughs> uh, Why he should be able to... I'm interested to find out some things that you think uh, we would find different about Nigeria, like the real, real shit. Like, what, uh, what kind of, like, family situation were you born into and stuff? What was that like? Uh, uh, I had eight siblings. Um, oh, that was pretty cool. Could uh, you tell us how black people are like this and white people are like that? You want me to do one of those? <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> no, no. Tell us <laughs> specifically about Nigeria. No, 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 let's do that. No, Nigeria... <laughs> <laughs> I really like to hear that, actually. <laughs> Don't listen to the witches. Uh, to Nigeria is pretty, it's pretty rough. <laughs> I mean, life is, life is a lot cheaper out there. Like, people... How cheap is it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just... It's just uh, it's not, I mean, it's not... I mean, here, I guess it would be out of the norm to see a dead, dead body or whatever. I mean, it happens. Like, how, how much cheaper? What, what, what's like, like, uh, like... Well, I remember I was in middle school, or no, just after high school. We were out at the bar. Dude came into the bar. He told us how he just got in an accident, killed the dude uh, that he hit, and then just came out and drank with us the rest of that night. Wow. Yeah, it was a piece of shit. It was a piece of shit. Wow. Wow, well, Nigeria's yeah. really changed. You know, it's all... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> It, you know, it's it's all black now. You used to be able, used to, be able to leave your door open at night. Ooh. So black Dumb motherfucking <laughs> Irera. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Do they have some American things in Nigeria? Is there like a McDonald's and stuff like that? McDonald's, no, but we got KFC a few years back. Of I course bet you I did. bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> and Popeyes and... Yeah, I oh, stop it. Way. <laughs> yeah. We got a guy that works for KFC. You want to meet him? Uh, it's Damn. like reverse slavery. They had a little white guy in the kitchen. 
Does Nigeria force you to join the army, things like that? No, but after you graduate university, you have to serve as part of like the youth corps for a year. As a genie? <laughs> <laughs> you look like Kazam, that's why. <laughs> That was a hell of a stretch. Did you spend uh, <laughs> so how long have you been in the states since your return last return from Nigeria? Um, since I got back for college, I was nineteen, so eleven years now. Eleven years. How many white vaginas have you ruined? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my fair share. I don't know. <laughs> fair share. How many times do I have fair to say share. Candyman before you appear? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. Wow. What else do you do for fun when you're not doing stand-up or uh, what do you do for work? I'm a doctor of pharmacy. Oh, oh wow. wow. It's hey. a drug dealer. Oh, we take it back. Yeah, legal drug dealer. <laughs> do you have a pain pill for my sciatica? <laughs> <laughs> sure. How long have you been working at a pharmacy? Uh, uh, ten years. Now. Wow. Yeah. That's a pretty good job. Yeah, that's a good job. Not yeah. that you do, but could you steal drugs? I could. I what? Could. Wow. But it's like, it's like... Dude, you are so funny. <laughs> You're so good. Dude, you are great. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, God. I'll just take a couple Z-Packs. <laughs> yeah. Like, something like, like, you see, like, I always think about it, but I never want to do it just because I have a good job. But, like, something like Z-Packs, I feel like I could get away with that shit pretty easy. Yeah. What no, about okay. Oxycontin? Nobody's count, nobody's count, that, they would find you pretty quick. Right. Yeah, what about just, like, a couple a week? Come on, a couple of weeks, they're not going to notice. What are we, children? Uh, I, you can probably find someone to do it. I just won't. I know that much. Right, we'll yeah. talk later. Yeah. Smart. Sickest, uh, sickest person that's ever walked up to your window at that pharmacy. What was that like? Um, Something really you, you stand like up. mentally or like physically? Half black guy, had cerebral palsy. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go, let's go with physically. Anybody like bleeding out of the eye or something crazy? Physically, like, you know, just you have people pass out, like need an ambul ambulance, like short of breath, stuff like that. If you're really sick, you're going to be in the hospital anyway. So. Yeah. You ever yeah. give anybody mouth to mouth? No. no. Mm. We're trained to, but like, I would just probably give compressions. You like ever give one some dick to mouth? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you no. have. Cool. Have, you ever, have you ever been paid to be in a cuck hold? No, but I have been offered twice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but it, no, that's I just the thought of somebody staring at me in the background. <laughs> I feel too vulnerable. The I'm husband. Do yeah. you ever prescribe like African medicine, just like some chicken bones and a fucking uh, a voodoo prayer or something? Rhino, a rhino right. horn. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma would know that shit. I, I don't do that shit. Oh. All you have to do is think about your worst enemy. <laughs> And you would be cured. Akuma <laughs> <laughs> Matata. Uh, what do you do for fun? I don't think I got an answer for that. When oh, you're not working um, or doing stand up, I, like stand up, I play ball. I like going out and stuff, sports and stuff. Yeah, what type of uh, what type of stuff do you like to do when you go out? I like to go on like. When, when you have like a good crew, I'm, I'm kind of new here, so I don't know too many people like well out here. So like, um, but just go out, hit the bars and stuff like that. Drink, yeah. Um, huh. yeah. Try and smash. That definitely. Smash. Your favorite, <laughs> your favorite night in LA so far. What did that sort of consist of? You remember that night? Something stand out to tonight, you? Tony. <laughs> tonight, tonight. Honestly, it'd be pro probably something boring, like some stand up stuff, probably. Uh -huh. All right, AJ. Do you do you prefer white chicks? Because if I were you, I would exclusively just fuck tiny white chicks. Why? Because it would just be awesome fucking, like, reverse racism. <laughs> just fucking smash them out, make them call their dad in the middle of it. <laughs> I mean... I like uh, that. That's a tough one to answer. No, but, like, I, I kind of... Kind of equal opportunity. Gloria is a tiny white woman though. right here. Yeah, w w if you had to pick between uh, um, oh, oh, <laughs> the blonde, cool. the blonde and the brunette over here, or the or this Indian man in the back, <laughs> <laughs> juicy fruit. <laughs> I mean, out of the Got three, I guess Joe looks the most like a woman out of the three of them. I mean, that's I mean, what I, that's what I've always said. Yeah. I always said Joe. He has like nice skin or something. Yeah, Jocahontas back there. <laughs> Okay, so I have lodged sure. features. Okay, I get it. <laughs> all right. All right, AJ. Well, I guess we found out that you would, of all the people, fuck Joelberg. Wow. <laughs> so now you have to fuck Joelberg. Congratulations, AJ. Welcome to a new segment we call Fuck Joelberg. <laughs> all right. Um, 
AJ, anything else you want to say? No. All right, fun times. Anything else for AJ, guys? There we go, AJ Faji. He's on Twitter at AJ Faji. We're going to go back to the bucket in just a second. But right now, let's bring up our one and only regular. You know her from our brand new 60 Seconds every single week on Kill Tony. One of my favorite comics to watch uh, every single week. Put your hands together for the great Ali Mikofsky, everybody. <laughs> I, uh, I've worked a lot of restaurant jobs, and uh, you never get, like, a full two weeks training. I've, like, you get, like, three days of training, and then suddenly there's a new person that you have to train. And it just feels like a game of telephone. I'm like, I think Steve said that forks go on the right side. And then I'm like, wait, how long has Steve worked here? Then it turns out Steve is just a regular at the restaurant. <laughs> the break room's like a prison cell. Everyone's just scratching out how many days they've worked there. Just feels like the blind leading the blind. And honestly, I feel like a blind person would be better at my job than I am. And I don't know if that's more offensive to blind people <laughs> or to my work ethic. I had a blowout at work. This lady was giving me a hard time saying that I wasn't explaining the prices correctly. And I said, do you want to work here? <laughs> and I genuinely wish she did. Thank you. Allie Mikowski with another new minute. I liked it. Thank so you're working you. at like a, a wing joint, right? Yeah, Just now been I'm like working at a, a wing's place, yeah. Yeah, it's a wing's place. Yeah. <laughs> What's the break room there really like? There is no break room. Right. It's just the walk-in uh, freezer. <laughs> I just go in there and cool off. <laughs> See, that's literally like, I mean, that's, uh, that's an interesting thing that's true and, uh, and funny. Yeah. So you could, instead of saying the break room thing like a prison, you could say the break room, or as I call it, the walk-in freezer. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd get that laugh that you got the first time you said that you go into the walk-in freezer. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, how long have you been at this wing joint? It's been like three or four weeks. It's great, though. And I love that we won't name the wing joint, by the way, because we don't want to get well, any chance Well, the thing is, I didn't name... Like, when I first said that I started working at a wings place, I made a joke about it, and then a guy literally came in the next day and said, hey, I heard you on Kill Tony. Oh, and shit. I didn't even use the right name for it. Well, then so. we better wing stop right now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I hope, now this is the part where I just hope it's not wing stop, and it probably is. <laughs> it's it's not. It's okay, not. Good. It's no, not. I'm not. No. <laughs> it's Wingalings and Van Van Nuys. Was that Baked Wings place? I bet it's the Baked Wings place. It totally is the Baked Wings it's place. Kenny, uh, Kenny Roasters, right? Kenny what? Rogers Roasters. No, there's tons of wings. Nah, places. it's the Baked Wings place. When, Don't fucking lie. When someone uh, when someone finishes their order, uh, do you say, "I'll wing you up over here"? <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, it is. You're not gonna give Good us one, a. Helen. You're not gonna give us a hint on the wing place. You're not going to uh, throw us a bone. <laughs> Good one, Helen. Okay, so Good one, stupid. Helen. Uh, <laughs> hey, Helen. Hey, what do you call a dog with wings? What? Linda McCartney. That's <laughs> 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 so great. <laughs> That's my waitress, Patty Reagan, right there. Linda McCartney. This is the band Wings. All right. Do you come home smelling like yeah. shit yeah. every night? And I have to like refill like the ranch and all that stuff, and it just splatters all over me. So I yeah. just have Is that your excuse? ambiguous stains on all of my clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's cool. It's some leftovers, you know. You uh, you like waitress there, right? No. Oh. You're the girl at the. Uh, I just kind of hang out at the register. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You like, so it's like one of those walk-up type wing spaces. All right. Maybe. <laughs> thought you were thought you were one of us for a moment, but no. I guess no. Not. What's the ratio on races? How many oh, whites? Black but people. it's all blacks. Mostly, yeah. White people always get boneless, and yeah. I'm like, come on, quit playing. Yourself. Do you have a Do you have a tip bucket, or you don't even bother? I get a lot of tips. Black people love me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because of my haircut. They think you're uh, and uh, my Nelly. Thick thighs. <laughs> 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 
thick thighs. How about your love it? life? You still with that guy? You have a boyfriend, I right? don't want to talk about it. Oh. oh. Wow. wow, they must have had a talk or something. Look at that. He's now <laughs> off limits on Kill Tony. Can we just call him Stedman from now on or something like yeah. that? So you can keep your secret superstar identity without affecting anyone ears? Uh, All right. Uh, yeah. Did he get mad that you talked about him on another show? What? Did he get mad that you talked about it about no, another show? No, no, I don't think he listens to this. I just don't want to talk about not it. A, not a Tony Hinchcliffe fan. Wow, now I'm doubly insulted. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this guy, and I don't trust him. He loves him comedy you. podcasts, just not this one. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so what else is going on in life? Um, you know, who? I don't know. I don't know. Nothing. Things are good. You're opening for <laughs> Russell Peters, right? Oh, yeah. I'm go- Thank you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to Phoenix on Thursday and doing guest spots with Russell Peters at Stand Up Live. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited. Love that. Oh, every time I do stand up, they give me the check spot. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you look right. great. Thank you so much. I really like this. Uh The black guys don't like me, apparently. So. <laughs> oh. they, they love like me. Patty Reagan. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremiah looks like if somebody put Dorothy and the Wicked Witch in a microwave together. <laughs> it's got the hair of Dorothy, the nose of the witch, and... Uh... Yeah, I think that you needed to explain it <laughs> further, Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> put the fucking lotion in the basket. They didn't, they the didn't get it off the first bat. Maybe they didn't know what I was talking about exactly, you know what I mean? Maybe it went, uh, maybe it went a little up and uh, around and over, the, almost over their heads. <laughs> Joel looks like he just left Standing Rock. <laughs> Actually, I just uh, got kicked out of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, so I started working at this time. All right, Allie. Well, you're a rock star. We love you here. Congrats on opening up for Thank Russell you. Peters. Hopefully, uh, who knows what's next in the great world of Allie McCoskey. <laughs> Black bear sing around on dead and night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, look at that. Came all the way from the bottom of his nose. <laughs> all right, I pulled a name out of the bucket. This certainly looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Jonathan Picar. <laughs> Jonathan Picar. Five. I've come here five weeks row, flew in from Memphis one time, drove the second time. Nothing. <laughs> oh. You don't know me, but I'm your brother. And you, blah, 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 taking it to. Y'all suck. Fuck. God. On my own. You're a fucking band. You're supposed to jump. Up. Oh, you want us to play? No, I want you to sit there with your legs open so I've been looking at their black fucking crotch for the last, like, that. Jesus, Lord. Oh, my God. Okay. Drove all the way in from Memphis, and I'm, like, so worried. I'm, like, oh, my God, please don't see a dead dog along the way. Don't see a dead dog along the way. Ah, but it's just a pillow. It was a, pi- it was a pillow, Tony. <laughs> little pillow. There's a, there's a little pillow on the side of the fucking and there's a baby in the back seat going, Mama, where's my pillow? The mom's like, I don't know. Why is your window down? Ooh, dead deer. Dead deer. Ooh. Well, I'm not driving. I'm in the car. Thank you, guys. Thank you, man. Even, even the microphone's giving you two thumbs down right now, Jonathan. It's amazing. Be- it's amazing. Alcohol doesn't seem to affect you. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Zach Gallup, a crackhead. <laughs> That's almost funny. Okay. Guys, give it up for the amazing Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I gotta take that one too. Okay. Wow, yeah, you're just really, really bad, Jonathan. Uh, that's the one I came up with. How's it going, man? How are you? Well, it's good Ta- until talking to the mic, sweetie. Talking to the mic, sweetie. Huh? Talking, Talking to the, the mic, mic, sweetie. It's a live podcast. It goes out. It's the number one live podcast in the world. Talking to the mic. Did Black Crotch just say that? Oh, my fuck. Okay, hi. 
Jonathan, yes. you seem a little bit loopy. You've been drinking a lot tonight? Yes, I'm really 0 for 5. I'm a few drinks in. I really didn't think it was going to happen after that. What do you now, mean 0 for 5? You've signed up for the show I've five, been times. Here five times. So at that point, how many times in, in which you're like, I'm just going to get so fucking drunk that uh, when I do get called, I'm just going to make that the theme? Well, the last time I got jinxed, I didn't want to smoke before. I didn't want to jinx it. And then I've ruined that. And this time I was like, you know, I'm going to drink and have no material. And if I just get up, I'll wing it and do good. And I will never do that again. All right. So, well, can I say, he said, he was like, I didn't, I didn't think it was going to happen. I, and I mean this, dude. Jonathan was standing there, pacing back and forth <laughs> before Tony read the name. And then as he started, he didn't even say a word. Jonathan started walking toward the stage like he fucking knew. Is that true? I swear to God, it was psychotic. It made me think the whole show was a fucking sham. I was like, does Tony actually pre-tell these people they're going to come up here? No, it's no sham because I've been trying for five fucking weeks. And that's six did a bananas. I just watched that happen. Well, he's Shit paying attention. So. Jonathan, how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? I'm a paid regular here. I uh, haven't hung out for quite a while. Hold on, stop. Yeah, come on, bring it on. You're a paid regular my here? My name is painted above Eddie Murphy's right They won't there. return my fucking email. Jesus Christ, Lewis. <laughs> on the episode in which... And this asshole it's okay. is a paid regular here. Okay. <laughs> when were you... I love that that's what made it back up. Thank you, Jeremiah. Uh, Jonathan, uh, yes. what year were you made a paid regular here at the yeah, Comedy Store? It was probably 1997. 1997. Yes. Did you showcase for Mitzi Shore? Yes, I did. I was made a paid regular after three performances in the OR room. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you just go in and wing it and start singing Michael McDonald and there was a band that actually followed what you said and uh, that just killed the entire time? No, I, I kind of planned things a little better and didn't drink quite so much. So, Interesting. Yeah, it was a little more organized. So what did you do after becoming a paid regular? Heroin. Are you done? That was pretty kind of close, but no. Um, no, you know, I just did my best. I started out doing those spots and worked my way up, and then she painted my name up, and I ran away. After you got your name on the wall, you're like, that's it for me. No, I just it by luck, and then all of a sudden I decided, well, fuck, if I can do that, I can go do anything I want, so I went off to film school. Okay, and uh, where'd you go to film school at? USC Film School with my little uh, fucking... Fight on. Right, Screenwriting department. I remember the bad joke earlier. 2006. That's right. That's right. You look like you're still a student there in a very Van Wilder-like situation. <laughs> Something very college I can buy into that. I can buy I'm a fucking that. 30th year senior. That's right. Uh, Most of them are called doctors, but you know, it's film. Hell yeah. So you went to film school. What have you done since, w with that? I produced Shark Week. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, all right. Dun, dun, I fucking love Shark Week. I hate to break dun, dun, dun. down to you, though, but Shark Week is really nothing more than pro wrestling, though. That means I pour blood in the ocean and wait. I mean, honestly, that's what it is about, but it changed my life. I got my name painted up on here. Those poor young children. Huh? <laughs> Damn, he's so close to funny every time, too. That's really close. Uh -oh. And then Dom, we've got the big Lebowski limo driver right here that it's just shocks me to no end. That he's, I mean, it's a legend with Dom, and I'm waiting for him to fuck with me. Dom, you know, I've opened up for you probably like 15, 20 times. Jonathan, nobody remembers you. Oh, well. Um, so see, they didn't laugh at that. Now they're turning on you, Tony. Holy no, shit. No, Jonathan, they fucking hate you. Trust me. Yeah. No, it's true. You're not winning them over, over us. I promise you. You're so uncomfortable that they are now getting uncomfortable. That's what's happening. Wow, that makes me feel bad. It should. Well, it kind of <laughs> does. Well, Jonathan, you seem to have like a real negative attitude. Do you, uh, do you often get like mean sometimes when you drink? Hmm, only bit, when I'm driving. A little bit sensitive? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm pretty... I'm Wait, pretty look at that. He got a real laugh. There was a glimpse of that paid regular from 1991 oh, there for a second. Now it's coming out. <laughs> So, all right, so you make Shark Week, and now what? You probably got rich off that, right? Yeah, fooling his money or soon partying, you know? Do so you I, still I, work I, with them? No, not really. That's kind of lame. I sold, the, I've got a little small thing. My day job is, you know, making other films and other little projects and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Elaborate. Yeah, what kind Instagram of Instagram stories, mostly. <laughs> that 
was almost funny too, and I'm drunk. Yeah. Everything should be funny. Jonathan, it's funny. funny. We're the number one live podcast in the oh, world. I Stop know. making hey, it weird. Why would you not <laughs> think that I wouldn't know that? And that's why I'm so happy to be here. I've come 0 for 5 and sit here and watch every week. And last week with you in the pink wig, it was something else. I really thought you enjoyed it a little too much. And I was oh, pretty stoked. There you go. That. All right, Jonathan. No, he didn't, no, keep him up here, Tony. No, Do not is, make him leave. No, this is bad. He is so uncomfortable. Look at what you're doing to everyone. You know how much fun we were having before you? Really was. Before you came up here and fucking half-assed it and disrespected the beautiful art of stand-up comedy and then accused all of the amazing comics up here of not being funny. Are you out of your fucking mind? I want to go piss on your fucking name on the side of this building. <laughs> it's making me furious. My, my name is too high up. His little dick oh, I'll try. never make it up that high. So no. we're, I got like, a little pecker, guys. Get it? Yeah. We're, looks like we're getting roof access He fucking tonight. nailed me, guys. I got a little dick. <laughs> All right, Jonathan. There he goes. Jonathan well, Picard. Oh, for, for 5. <laughs> he was oh, for 5. So on his sixth time, I guess that's like a big deal. I right, hope I, he I gets hit by a way. fucking bus tonight, Tony. <laughs> I fucking hated that guy more than anybody that I've ever hated on this show. He really is. It's like if... Uh, he wore me out. <laughs> yeah. He was, just, uh, he was just the you, worst. You, mi- you might not be right for this show. <laughs> yeah, I really <laughs> are. I'm not. He made me so fucking angry. That was almost funny. That was almost funny. Go f- fuck yourself. Yeah. It's like, why did Chris Farley have to overdose and he <laughs> survived? <laughs> He smells like onions, also. All right, I pulled the name out of the bucket. I'm excited about this. Uh, put your hand. This is Red Ink. That's why I'm excited. If you're wondering, I don't think we've ever had this name up before, but it's Red Ink. Put your hands together Red for Ink. Luke Derrick. Yeah. Here we go. Wrote his name in Red Ink. Good handwriting. Good stride. Luke and Derek, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know how they say that some of the best, funniest, most successful comedians, uh, when you get to know them in private, they very often turn out to be these unfunny, miserable, lonely, suicidal douchebags. So I thought maybe I should give it a go. And people don't realize sometimes how much work actually goes into being a stand-up comedian. Virtually none. I mean, all it is is really you try to come up with the funniest, stupidest thing that makes you the angriest in the world, and which for most comedians turns out to be their genitals. <laughs> Not in my case. There's all kinds of things that can make you angry. I know what you're thinking, so Luke, so what is it that makes you so angry? Where does your stand-up therapy, I mean, comedy comes from? Well, I could tell you, but that's really none of your baldness. <laughs> Am I, uh, do I still have time left? <laughs> that's it. That's a minute. Luke Derrick. Hell yeah. Welcome to the show, Luke. Where are Thank you, you. Where are you from? You have a little bit of an accent. I do. I, I'm Sweden? from Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Hell yeah. You Hel- said all, uh, we come from all around the world, so I'm from Belgium. I'm a little bit annoyed because I listened to somebody's bit earlier and she was going on about Belgium uh, and it wasn't very good. Oh, that was in Ooh. a different room? Different yeah, show? It was, yeah, it was like the, the first uh, Oh, okay. First What'd she left. say about Belgium that made you mad? That we're all genocidal and it's really only some of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's a gross generalization. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, two months. Two months? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, Wow. How long have you been here in America? Two months. Two months. Wow. I came specifically this winter to give stand-up comedy a wow. try. Pull on a double, I get it. How long have you been making waffles? How long have you been a what? God. <laughs> making oh, waffles. Oh, you, had, you, had, you needed some time to think of something Belgian, didn't you? you just wow, everybody's little. taking shots at the band oh, now. Yeah. I don't know what's Jesus happening. It doesn't better watch actually, it. I didn't know where that was coming from. Do you speak you Flemish or, or uh, French? I speak Flemish. Flemish. It's a beautiful language. Yes, well, and, and, Dutch, by the, and, and by the way, beautiful people there. I love Belgium. Yes, we are. Hmm. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just wanted to give them a different side of us. Uh. What are some, uh, what are some uh, things you did for a living when you were back in Belgium? Uh, well, I actually don't really live in, in Belgium, but for a living I work on cruise ships. Ah. Yeah. 
Yeah, what do you do on the cruise ships? I'm the host. I'm the pro, the cruise director. Wow, that's yeah. a big, that's a b- pretty big deal. What kind of cruises? Well, it's not, it's not ocean cruises, though. It's river cruises. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, so these are not floating cities, okay? So it's not like 4,000 people. But it's still, you know, it's 200 passengers. <laughs> Wait, is it like in a canoe? Yeah. They it's are river cruises. It's like, uh, it's like a canoe, exactly. yeah. <laughs> it is a big deal, but not as big as you might think. How it's many people like are on the ship? Uh, it's about 200 something, yeah. I know oh. a guy that does swamp cruises. Crazy business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's 200 people in this room right now. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it would be like managing a group like that and or arranging. And we, have a, we have a guy who has uh, Down syndrome managing this room right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, well, that could have been me. What would you say to these people if we were on the, uh, on the deck of your ship right now and you're the cruise director, you have a microphone in your hand? <laughs> well, ship is... Don't say ship. <laughs> Why? It's smaller than a ship. Exactly. Uh, uh, we don't call it a ship. What do you call it? A boat. Around. It's a boat, except when the captain's around. And then what do you call it? Then we call it a ship. <laughs> <laughs> you should open with that. So if this was a ship, and, I'm, uh, and, and I would basically be telling you we're in Nuremberg tomorrow, and then I'll have 15 minutes to tell you about Nuremberg and make it interesting or entertaining or funny, except when it's actually Nuremberg, because there's nothing funny about what's Nuremberg. The, what's the saddest thing you've ever seen happen on a cruise ship? The saddest thing? Yeah. I've, I've had people die. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's, that's comedy gold right there. What, did you yeah. do your act? No, no, no. You see, I've only been doing this for two months. Right. You're doing a great yeah. job. Yeah. Wow. They died on you. Was it your, is it considered your fault when somebody no, dies no, no, on no. you? I'm, ju- I'm the cruise director. I'm not, uh, you know, I d- I'm not in charge of killing the people. That's yeah. <laughs> How did they die, the people on your boat? Well, you know, people are generally old when they arrive. So yeah. <laughs> people going on river cruises, they're generally like 70, 80 years old. Right. When they I arrive, how long are these cruises? Because you say it's like a sad thing. It's not really a sad thing. That's the way to go, I say. You Would you paint me like one of your Belgium whores? <laughs> say what? <laughs> oh, that's a... Let's see if you can think of a third thing from Belgium. You do have the accent of a guy that is into uh, very, very, very kinky shit in the bedroom. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the craziest thing you've ever done or had done to you sexually? And how much black shiny leather was involved? All right. I, I can't think of the top of my head of something, even though I had lots of time to come up with something, because I know that question comes up all the time. Uh, no, I'm pretty boring, I'm afraid. Yeah, I even said that boringly. <laughs> Boring. B- All right. Have you ever had a finger in your butt? Say what? You heard me. <laughs> no, I did not hear you. I said, have you ever had a finger in your butt? Oh, uh, yeah, my own. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That butthole puts the tight in Titanic. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Yeah, I just identified the music as well. When you put your finger in there, did you say, I'll never let go, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> All right. He said, all aboard. <laughs> All right. uh, what do you do for work now that you're here in Los Angeles? Uh, well, nothing. I'm just here specifically to try stand-up, and during the day I just concentrate on getting fatter. And then in a couple of weeks, I'll go back to Europe, and then the season starts again. I have to start working again. Oh, so you have where you had like a break? So you said I'm going to yeah, go so to I'm LA. Yeah, I'm basically hibernating here uh, because there's snow and cold in, in Europe right now. Right, and so you get uh, how long have you worked on the river? About uh, I guess ten years now. What are some things that you've done since visiting Los Angeles that uh, have been some highlights of your trip? On this uh, trip? Yeah. Uh, well, I've been coming to a lot of open mics and then been coming to this a few times. The funniest thing I've seen while I was here was I actually went to watch The Room. Have you heard of this? Yeah. yeah. So I went to one of those screenings uh, because the other movie came out about it, and that was like the funniest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I it was a r- funny movie, unintentionally funny, but then the whole vibe and the reactions of the people. I knew about it, and I've been wanting to do that for a few years. It's I don't know why that, your happiness just made me sad. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it means you don't like me. No, I like you, though. Oh, okay. I really, if, to be honest with you, you could have punched me in the face and I would like you more than the last guy. Yeah. 
I hate that guy so fucking much. That's so funny because I was thinking of doing that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> you ever scare anybody? You seem like the kind of guy that likes to like stand around corners and be like, boo! You know what I mean? <laughs> I seem like the guy that stands on corners and does boo. Yeah, uh, <laughs> something like that. Uh, Joel Berg, can you translate that into uh, Flemish? Uh, yeah. No. Well, you know, you got me all wrong. That's not something I enjoy. Doing. No. You don't ever scare people. How about for Halloween? Oh, we, unintentionally, probably. Do you yeah. dress up for Halloween ever? No. Do people dress we up as you for really Halloween? We don't really do Halloween, uh, you see. What's your favorite uh, holiday in Belgium that only the Belgians have? Only the Belgians? Belgium yeah. Day. Well, we have St. Nicholas, which is kind of Belgian. What no, is it? There's no such thing as Belgium Day. No, what, what, I, what I was do you guys kidding. have? I was kidding. Well, we have St. <laughs> There's some dumb holiday they put, like, put chocolate in your shoes in the morning. Well, that's pretty close. I, well, I was, I, I was going to say St. Nicholas. Are that's you Belgian or fucking autistic? I can't <laughs> tell you. Yeah. Do you guys do weird shit for Christmas? Is that true? Like, you guys seem like you do, right? Like chocolate in shoes and stuff like that? Is yeah, well, we do that for St. Nicholas. You put chocolate yeah. in the shoes? St. Nicholas is the same with the white beard and the red robes. Comes yeah, out Santa Claus, motherfucker, we know. Yeah. That's Saint where Nicholas. I, that's where I was going with name. That, yeah. Wait, do they actually put chocolate in your shoes? If you put your shoes out, yeah, they might put chocolate. chocolate. I was making that up. <laughs> yeah. That was the most yeah. Belgian thing I could <laughs> think of. <laughs> that's what it's Belgian people do. They just put chocolate, chocolate, chocolate in everything. So you do know about us. Yeah. Chocolate and cheese. What's your favorite thing to eat chocolate out of? A shoe, of course. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't, I'm not so crazy about chocolate. I'm kind of a pretend Belgian. I'm like a traitor Belgian. I don't like beer either. Here he's talking about black people. Yeah. Huh. So if you, mm. what's the what's the most Belgium thing about you though? Uh, that I speak Flemish. Uh, Flemish. Can you give Why us a little taste of your Flemish? Uh, <laughs> 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 Boy, that sounds dirty, right? Uh, can you let me taste your Flemish? Uh, <laughs> let me get you, some uh, tissue. <laughs> can you say something like a well, you know, like something that you would say on the riverboat, like that just sounds normal, like a pe- like a like a welcome to the ri- welcome to the riverboat. I'm your captain, tour guide, guy, like whatever you would say. Right. Like, give well, us a nice. When I do the river cruises, it's in English though as well. Oh, all yeah, right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so it's for American guests. Then say something in Flemish that's like a sentence. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's going to sound very much like English though. Uh, welcome on board. That's welcome on board in Dutch. <laughs> He, meant, some, he meant something longer, perhaps. Yeah, longer. In okay, Flemish. Well, uh, give me a sentence. Hey, give me a Say, sentence. hey, do you want to watch me put my finger in my butt? <laughs> okay. Red band. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll man my finger in my gut steken. Deutsch. That was that. Wow. What am I watching? A Mucinex commercial? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, man. Can I, wait, can I have a question? I was actually hoping to show this to my friends at home, but I changed my mind. Oh, oh no. you no, got to yeah. show them. I, do you, let me ask you a question. Because you came here, and you, I'm assuming you wanted to try stand-up for a while, right? Well, I wanted to see if it's something I could do, yes. So you came here, you're, you, know, you were pretty funny. i got to be honest with you. There were people that were doing it for years up here that weren't as good as you. I think you did a pretty good job. Um, are you now like in love with it? And there, is it now something you're considering doing and maybe moving here full time or moving to New York? I'm or? sort of torn. Uh, well, yeah, I know you finger your ass. We know that, but yeah. about the question. Well, just a few days ago, I was actually kind of bored with it, and I was thinking of going back home early. And then I thought, well, I haven't done this yet, wow. uh, so I better come and uh, and. Uh, I know you fingered your ass. Yeah. When you say this, you mean like the comedy store or this show specifically? This show specifically. Have you listened to us before over in Belgium? No, no, no. I hadn't Uh, heard of it before I came. You you heard about it when you came. (laughs) Even though it's. I love this guy laughs like I'm going to be insulted. Like, oh, you don't listen to every episode in Belgium? I'm a dick. (laughs) Fucking asshole. (laughs) It is the number one podcast in the world. (laughs) Thank you, Liz. (laughs) Son of a bitch. I mean, the open mic world can totally get you. Like jaded, man. It, it sucks going up in front of mostly just comics yeah, over and per- over again. Where'd you perform the other night that made you depressed and want to go home early, like a little bitch? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't depressed. Um, I, where did I go? I did the Laugh Factory and I did. Uh, oh, there that, you that, go. That, I, I, I've the been doing this ten times. years. That happens to me every time I perform at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> All right, that's Shots a fired. Little joke for the comedians out there. <laughs> All right, Luke, Derek, there he goes, everybody. All the way from Belgium, everyone. Come on, make some noise for the guy. He's taking that energy back home with him. To Belgium. Waffle Fest. That's Kill Tony. We did it. You made it all the way through. 
Look at that drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt. The great Dom Ivera, Luis J. Gomez. That's like full out painting. Backward. The hell is that, Ryan? Full color and everything. Me, Red Van, powerful Ryan J. E. Belt. Freakish work. All of his work's available at RyanJEBelt.com. Including the book. Kill Tony the book, Kill Tony the poster, and uh, the prints from every single show. Guys, tell me, uh, tell me what you got going on. Legion of Skanks, Gas yeah. Digital Network. What Check else? Check out Luke? all my podcasts. Make I, some I noise host for Louis J. Gomez. Yeah, I host four podcasts uh, on the Gas Digital Network. Uh, go to GomezComedy.com to see me live. I do stand up all over the country, and uh, that's that. Dom Irera. I'll be at Side Splitters at Tampa, where I kill <laughs> Friday and Saturday this week. I love it. I'll be at the Tropicana in, uh, in Atlantic City, February seventeenth. If you happen to be there. Come up to my room on the suite at the top. You're a great crowd, by the way. Thanks. I got Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, right? Philly, is that what you call it? Philly and uh, Idaho and uh, Sacramento coming up at TonyHinchcliffe.com. And also, uh, February 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, guess who's coming with us to Texas? The band. How about that? <laughs> Jeremiah, Pat Reagan, Joel Jimenez. What else is going on, guys? Uh, Thursday, January 18th, you can see me headlining U31 Bar in San Diego, so come on out to that. And then uh, the Weight Gain Champion shirts are in at jeremiahwatkins.tv slash shop, so go get those. Get yourself an XXL in honor of Jeremiah. I'll yeah. also be at... Uh, yeah. I'll be <laughs> just start plugging <laughs> shit. I'll be, in June, I'll be at, uh, in Providence, Rhode Island, if you happen to be there in June. Great like, so five minutes later, everybody's fucking sleeping. I'll, I'll be at the uh, the main point in, in Atlantic City. Well, I'm kidding, guys. I'm just, oh. I'll, I'll I leave. thought you really were. I'm, I am going to be in Providence in June. Oh, no, I am really. Oh, yeah. okay, me too. Where else? You uh, have to leave something behind the couch for me. You got it, babe. You, Some stanky <laughs> Uh Oh, yeah, listen yep. to my new podcast, Jeremiah Wonders. Yeah, oh. I was on it. Red Band was on it. Patty yeah. Reagan, what do you got for us this week? Nothing. Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez is mostly sorry on all social media. What else, Joel? Still looking for drum stuff in Dallas. Yeah. That's if it. You hit me up. A, I love you guys. If you have a drum set in Dallas or you're friends with somebody in a drum set in Dallas, uh, have them hit up uh, Joel Berg and uh, come see Kill Tony if you donate uh, drums on us. How about that? Oh, with three Mark friends, right? What? With three friends. Huh? With three friends. With three friends, yeah, yes. Yeah, four tickets. Bring three friends. You give one ticket, sure. you cheap bastard. I'm not just giving away one <laughs> ticket. I'm just going to give a plus one. But if you still want to say three friends, sure. Bring your whole fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> so Puerto Rican of Luis J. Gomez to invite everybody. Hey. Uh, but no, seriously, the band, I can't tell you guys how excited I am that the entire band is coming with us. Not just for those Kill Tonys in Houston and Dallas, but also for five total stand-up shows in those cities. So that's going to be... So fucking much fun. I'm hey, excited about that. Red Band's going to be there, too. Tony, this Sunday, we're having a huge Death Squad show here in the main room. We got Jeff Dye, Jeremy Piven from Entourage. Tony's here. Uh, John Henson, a bunch of people. The Smash Brothers. That's uh, this Sunday, 8.30. That's right. Business is a booming. And if you have your own business, start a new website with Squarespace and hire people with ZipRecruiter. Yep. This has been Kill Tony live from the main room. Live audience, thank you. We love you. Thank we'll you. see you out on the front patio or something like that. We'll be hanging out. Have a good night. <laughs>